gone for a while because of Tropical Storm Sandy. I wish it were Pink Flamingo Friday, but no, it's Saturday, and Tropical Storm Sandy just raged for a week around here and gave us a lot of rain and down branches and stuff, but no serious damage. I want to talk to you about brushes today. With brushes, I use two different kinds of brushes. I use acrylic brushes and watercolor brushes. But first of all, I want to talk to you about this special brush. This little brush here I dedicate to matte gel. I don't use it for anything else, just matte gel. Because once you put a brush in matte gel, you can't get the matte gel completely out of it. So you might as well just use it for matte gel. Now, depending on the size of work you normally do is the size of brush you want to dedicate to your matte gel. And you do want to wash your brush as quickly as possible so it doesn't get all stiff and, and icky and things. And I usually have, oh, here it is, my water right on my desk where I can just plunk my thing in whenever I'm done applying my matte gel so that it, it and, I, and I've had it for over two years so evidently I'm doing the right thing I chose this flat not so largest brush oh I'm getting blue on me already from my desktop from work I was doing the other week anyway uh, I'm just such a mess I uh I chose this brush because of it's flat and it can get in all the spaces and it uh, works well for me. So depending on the size of work you do, it's the size you choose. There you go. Dedicated matte gel brush. First tip. Second tip. There are two brushes that I use, types of brushes I use, and that is uh, watercolor and acrylic. Difference between them? If you look on the bottom, watercolor has a flat edge that you can use to mark into the paper with, with the sharp edge, and the acrylic has a flat round edge. Um, bristles are basically the same. There, I have uh, synthetic bristles on mine. Not that I'm a human rights or animal rights kind of person. I'm an omnivore, but um, that's just the kind of brushes I have because I'm a crafter. I, I don't feel the need to invest in really heavy, expensive brushes at this time in my life. Uh, I'm not a really true-to-life, good, great, masterpiece artist like you'd find hanging in the, the Louvre or anything like that. Um, I do find crafty stuff and so I got the brushes that work for me and if they get destroyed rather easily I can purchase more rather cheaply uh, I do admit that I get mine off Amazon or at, at Hobby Lobby and if uh, I work with them too much and they get kind of frayed and see I particularly like this little brush here um, right here it, it does work well with water media actually not watercolors but water media like watercolor crayons um i like how sharp the bristles are and everything even though it's acrylic but acrylic you can go down but you can't go up because there's something in the acrylic paints that interferes with your watercolors and that's all you really need to know so, you can go down, but you can't go up. That's my tip for the day. And I hope you have a very happy day indeed. And uh, I think pink flamingos, because it's always fun. And I hope the weather is nice where you are, because it's really sunny and nice here. And still a little bruisey. Oh, and I see, I see squirrels running around on my bateau, which is my bio side. Uh, my batour, they're running around in the trees, two, two squirrels chasing each other in the background. That was kind of funny. Yeah. So you have a great day. Um, I like the squirrels in my yard.
I know I will. Uh, I'm talking softly because my daughter's kind of still sleeping on the sofa, even though it's like, you know, mush or something. But she let me sleep late, so that's good. Gotta love her. Have a crafty day. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yay! I love doing that stuff.